for the stock market. Is this right. is the year of the dog going to be good or not? Uh, for the first half of the year, the dog is pretty strong. Okay. So and the, the first half of the year in the Chinese calendar ends around May to early June. So the energy then dissipates. Oh, yeah. So oh, what does good that first mean? half, not so good second half. Uh, second half might, might see some deterioration in terms of energy flow, but right now it's really strong. So, how, how do you track the energy flow? Uh, in five elements. Okay. So what we look at is similar to in Western astrology, the planets in Chinese astrology go by the elements, fire, wood, metal, water and all that. So uh, when we classify the uh, asset classes, we also look at the elements. For example, in, in 2018, according to the charts, the wood and fire elements are strongest. So wood, you see in the headline news, for example, agriculture, plantation, furniture, all this is wood. Education is wood. Uh, fire relates to oil and gas and technology. Mm -hmm. And the third strongest element is metal element. So metal element relates to financial industries, fund management, for example. Mm -hmm. right. okay, hold on, you, mm -hmm. you think, you're saying that water-related elements or industries are going to be sort of the, the hidden gem of the issue. What, yes. what kinds of companies fall under water? Uh, it could be um, travel related, gaming for example, right? Gaming, gaming yeah. Okay, okay. That's, that's underwater category. Yeah, yeah. You're saying that wood is strong in 2018, mm -hmm. arguably out of control, uh, right. are your words. What, what, what does right. that mean? That, that, that actually sounds like a negative. Uh, what it means is because a lot of people pay attention to it and lots of news are talking about it, but probably the profit is actually really low in all those uh, industries. So on paper it looks good. That's what it means. So when we look at five elements, we look at the configuration. It's always about balance. If one element becomes too strong, mm. too strong is always a bad thing. Mm. That's what it means. Now, Joe, I know you're looking for increased volatility this year, which we, we, See, we're really? already seeing, right? Yeah. Which means you think it's not going to be a good year to, to be in small and mid-cap stocks. Right. Well, too volatile, it depends on you know, who, who is playing the game, right? Mm. Usually the big players obviously would have be better than the small players. Okay. So on that perspective, you see some challenges.